We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, hey, Star Wars fans, welcome to the last episode of Power of the Force Fridays for 2023. I will be back next year um, with some more episodes starting on January 5th. I uh, do have a little bit of a plan. Um, but yeah, for the last episode of the year, I am taking next week off of doing Power of the Force Friday. Um, I'm just easing off of content a little bit in general for the last week of the year. Um, so yeah, I wanted to go out with a bit of a bang. Um, <laughs> I was really racking the shelf, um, the Power of the Force shelves. And then I started looking amongst my other figure shelves and uh, obviously... Mace Windu here, the first figure from Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, we got, which was part of the Power of the Force line, so on a technicality, I decided this was the figure to uh, to go with for, for the final video. Um, interestingly, this is a figure I never had as a kid. I still have... I still have the leaflet from... from Toys R Us. Now, I remember I was with my mum and my sister uh, in the Toys R Us in Rundle Mall in Adelaide. It would have been here, yeah, 1998, I suppose. Which is when this thing, I'm not going to turn around because it does have my, my, my childhood address on there. Because I did fill it out and never got to send it off and, and claim the figure. But, um, yeah, be the first to get the first... And uh, I was buying Star Wars toys that day from Toys R Us, and um, I don't know. I just I remember seeing like a peel off, you know, a pad, basically of these at the checkout, and um, I had to, had to grab one of these just to take a look. And I remember begging my parents, but you know, I didn't have a huge amount of cash back then, um, so you know, paying for you're sending off a check and doing all that it wasn't wasn't really in the realm of possibility back then but um thankfully you know today I do have a inbox version and a loose version which we'll take a look at but yeah I just remember as a kid just the imagination just went completely wild um yeah not having really a, a, a firm understanding of what the prequel trilogy was going to entail my sort of when I said be the first to get the first I thought this guy's going to be the first Jedi you know this is going to go way back way way back and yeah it really wasn't that far <laughs> um but it, it was still awesome like it just it ignited my imagination of what was going to what was going to come you know Mace Windu which was you know, a very George Lucas name, you know, that he came up with. That was that was one of the original names um, in one of the earlier scripts. It was, I think it was Mace Windy, um, which was in the very early scripts for the original Star Wars. So to come back and use Mace Windu. And recently learnt that um, also back in the, back in the mid nineties when, you know, auditions and casting um, was sort of getting underway for the Phantom Menace. Tupac Shakur was actually um, a front runner, or was you know one of the desirables to play Mace Windu. Um, and obviously, unfortunately, he he died in 1996, so that didn't come to fruition, which is uh, where Samuel Jackson stepped in. But interesting that uh, had he survived, you know, he could have a very different looking looking Star Wars. With possibly, possibly uh, Tupac Shakur playing, playing Mace Windu in an alternate in an alternate reality. So, so one sneak preview the Kenner collection. So yeah, that's that's that. And then obviously the mail away thing. Let me get this. I have I have purchased this one. Just I wanted to have one in the box. I, I've probably had this kicking around for probably ten years now, if not a little bit longer. Just, I don't know, just because of this, you know, I have the connection with these two. It's something I always wanted, something I sort of dreamed about as a kid, you know. 
thought it was really great. Nice window there on the bottom, similar on the top. Star Wars Episode One coming to a theater in your galaxy, summer 1999. I did have the uh, cutout cards, which was a you know main staple of the Power of the Force line. An adult should cut out along the dotted lines. That they should. So, yeah, I'll just do a little read of the uh, bio. In the days before Palpatine's empire began its reign of terror, the Galactic Republic governed the affairs of the galaxy from the capital of Coruscant. In addition, the city planet was also the seat of the legendary 12-member Jedi Council. Wisdom and experience were equally as important as abilities in the Force among the Jedi Council members. For this reason, Mace Windu... A senior member of the Jedi Council was especially honoured and revered throughout the Galactic Republic. So that's cool. So it's just a nice, a nice piece to have in the collection. It's a cool, cool looking figure. Obviously, it wasn't till Attack of the Clones that he was he was designated his purple blade. And they did a slight little story retcon. I don't know whether it's canonical anymore, but it was a whole thing in the expanded universe where Mace Windu and Plo Koon, you know, as a sign of sort of dedication to the their craft or, you know, to the Jedi, they sw switch lightsabers. I can't remember the whole deal there, but um, yeah, so Plo Koon, because the figure of Plo Koon came with a purple one, they sort of switched that around and had some fun with it. So here is Master Mace. I realize there was a little bit of extra plastic there on the on the head. I didn't realize that. We'll bring in the light a little bit closer. There we go. It's a pretty sort of stock standard looking lightsaber too drastic in the design there either that or you know they didn't have the sort of plans for you know lightsabers we didn't know how extravagant or ornate they were going to become there's the robe on the back the hood nicely sculpted it sort of fits in nice with the um, with the power of the Force, power of the Jedi, uh, older Anakin Skywalker, as well as you know old Obi Wan. In terms of you know displaying them together, and this sort of from the era, from the nineties, you know they they do they do all sort of look good together. I do keep this one on my episode one shelf. We're sort of hanging out with other council members. Now, I'm trying to um, get a hold of the '90s versions of most of the most of the Jedi. Still need to find uh, the Power of the Jedi, Plo Koon, uh, Kiadi Mundi, Ceci Teen. I think I have. I'm just trying to look. I've got Adi Galia. I've got Yaddle, Evan Peel. No, there's a few others, but yeah, it'd be cool to have a little bit of a retro looking set of all the Jedi from, from this era. But it's cool. It's just a nice little, nice little throwback to a, some might say a simpler time. It certainly was, you know, 1998, I was 11, 10 going on 11 at the time. So yeah, life was much simpler, and uh, yeah, got like I said, just having this piece, this little piece of paper in a folder, had this one stored away for a long time. You know, just it really triggered my imagination as a as a kid. So to have a figure both in box and in hand, this I don't know. There's just something about it. There's something, something cool. Obviously Samuel Jackson, so it's cool.
So yeah, I thought I'd kick off, or we'll wrap up, 2023. It's been nice, particularly over the last six months, to get back into Power of the Force Fridays. You know, didn't miss too many weeks. The one or two throughout the uh, the last six months, you know, I've missed a couple of Fridays, but for the most part, I've I've tried to keep going. And then we're going to keep the ball rolling into 2024, which is just outrageous. I can't believe 2024. <laughs> That's stupid. It's been like 25 years since this guy came out. Absolutely insane. That makes me feel old and crusty. <laughs> but no, I appreciate everyone's support. I know there's I know there's a bunch of you guys that love love the Power of the Force videos. I love doing them. I love going back and looking at these older figures and um, you know just a little bit of reminiscing. And yeah, de like I said, definitely looking forward to doing more next year. We've still got plenty, plenty of figures to get through. So again, I appreciate all your support through through 2023. We'll see you for more Power of the Force Fridays on from the 5th of January. My time here in uh, Adelaide, South Australia. We'll see you then. Until then, may the force be with you always.